It's been exactly one month since I top dressed my lawn. Let's check out those results. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn, season five. Well, it's been exactly one month to the day since I top dressed my lawn. Uh, you guys saw that video that I, I put out um, at mid-May where I, I showed you guys uh, top dressing the front portion of the lawn and a few areas in the back. So I want to show you guys an update because you know a question you often get or a concern that a lot of people often have when they when they consider top dressing is how long is my lawn going to really look bad after doing this? For most guys, it's you know we're willing to put up with you know the lawn looking kind of ugly, but when you have you know other family members, wife, significant other, uh, and you know you're telling them that they're, the lawn's going to look like a parking lot for you know better part of a month, that can be kind of a hard sell. So I want to show you guys what you can po you can expect within a month or so of top dressing. Again, as far as a full disclosure, everything that's been done to the lawn, just to give you guys a little bit of an update. So the lawn has been top dressed both front and rear, the, the, the areas that I'm gonna point out here in the video. As far as fertilizers and other products have been put on the lawn, um, I've applied that, that carbon uh, treatment from Lesco, so the Carbon Pro L. If you guys are interested in seeing like um, everything about that, like the review of it, the results, that kind of thing, I'm gonna have a card up here. And if you're interested in seeing um, when I top dress the lawn, um, and, and the process I use for that, there will also be another card here up in the, in the corner that you guys can, can check out to see how that process worked. As far as fertilizers, the only fertilizer that's been put down on the turf um, since top dressing is I, I've done an application of Brandt uh, Supreme Green, which is that, that liquid micronutrient fertilizer that I really like. It's got a lot of iron and it's, um, it's if, I, if, I, if memory serves me, it's about there's about 12% uh, nitrogen um, in that. So it's not a ton of nitrogen, but that, but that does help with obviously with, um, with uh, lawn recovery. So I just want to be full disclosure as far as other things that have been put on the lawn. Um, so as far as, as far as things that are going to help it recover, I, I've done that. Um, in addition, I've also started my, my, my plant growth regulator regimen. So not only have I applied one, but I've applied two PGRs to the turf. So both uh, Tide Paclo 2SC and TNX, those have both been applied. So if you're, if you're thinking about this, this is a really good video for you guys to watch because this is really a worst case scenario. Like, I mean, uh, ideally you would top dress your lawn and you wouldn't put any um, PGRs down on it until the lawn has fully recovered, right? But I didn't do that. Um, what I did was I, um, I top dressed the lawn Two weeks later, I started applying t uh, my, my, my PGRs to it, and what you guys are gonna see now is the results one month later. So this is the absolute like worst case scenario of what you could expect to see, because you're seeing two PGRs um, applied right after top, top, top dressing, so you're trying to really suppress that, that, um, that, that top growth, that vertical growth, and you guys are gonna see the results. So let's get into it. So the area that I'm gonna show you guys that I wanna focus on is primarily this, this, this top, this front portion of the lawn. So if you look here, if you guys remember in the video, this entire section, I was trying to, um, to soften that, that bevel, that, that, um, that, that ri rise that goes where the tree used to be. And as you can see, you can't really see where there's any sand there anymore. I mean, there's one small area like right here, I'll point out, like see that right there? You can still see a little bit of top dressing there. But remember, that's an, also an area that I, I came back on uh, probably two weeks ago and did a small um, spot top dressing on just to kind of try and fill that area in a little bit. So what you're seeing with that sand is not really the sand from a month ago, that's sand from only two weeks ago. And even then, two weeks later, it's almost filled in. So if we continue around on our tour, you can see this area here where there's a little bit of sand still showing through, like right through here, you can see that. But, but overall, guys, that's grown in really, really nicely considering uh, you know, that this lawn is, has had um, a lot of products put on it that really are suppressing the growth of the turf, right? So, I mean, if, in a case where you're not doing that, where you're just applying PGRs and just sitting back and waiting, your lawn's gonna probably come back even faster. So on the front, that's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're working with. Now, uh, along the, we'll call it Vanity Strip 2.0, you'll see here, I top dressed this area. This was not done as part of the main top dress that I did um, a month ago. This was also done two weeks ago. And as you can tell, you can barely make out just in the center here where there's still a little bit of sand showing through, right? But overall, guys, this has recovered also very, very nicely. I mean, the big thing, probably the biggest, most important thing you want to consider when it comes to, to top dressing, um, as far as recovery, in my opinion, is heat. So, you know, obviously making sure your, your turf is healthy, you know, getting a soil test done, making sure that, you know, overall your, your macronutrient levels are where they, where they need to be. Um, and there's not any, you know, your pH isn't way out of balance. Those kinds of things are kind of important. Uh, but once you're there, really the big thing with Bermuda or any warm season grass is making sure you top dress when there's plenty of heat because that's really gonna help, this, help the lawn take off and recover. Even with plant growth regulator, it's still gonna grow, it's still gonna grow in really quickly. 
uh, we have to make, give the vanity strip its honorable mention. I mean, no video would be complete without that. So there you go. There's the vanity strip in all her glory, looking amazing. Let's give you guys a shot of Alex's lawn, also coming in really nicely. If you guys are interested in following Alex's lawn, if you're not yet a subscriber, you guys need to be subscribing because we are doing a lawn renovation with my next door neighbor. Uh, for any of you guys that are new viewers, um, there's a series called Fix My Ugly Lawn. If you, if you search for that in YouTube, uh, under like Ron Henry Fix My Ugly Lawn, you'll see a series of videos that we're doing. We're pretty much renovating his lawn and we're, we're going to the process of transforming his lawn into what my lawn is. So it's gonna be a really cool series to follow. So if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, let me take you guys around back and show you the other areas that we top dressed and, and how those are doing. Again, I'm, I'm really, 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 really happy with how the lawns are covered. So if you guys remember, there were two key areas that were top dressed um, about a month ago. So there is this area here, right in front of the patio. Oh, and by the way, you guys, we're giving me about, about needing to um, power wash my, uh, my area, my, my, my patio. You'll see, uh, you know, I, got, I got tired of catching grief from you guys. I mean, lawn care isn't enough. Like, that's not enough, right? I, I, I sit here and I slave away on this turf to try and make it look nice for you guys, produce content. But no, I forget, there's two, like, monkey, like, it was Jay and, like, Monkey Chopper. Those are the two, the two I think, viewers that were just harassing me, you know, hurting my spirit. Tell me that I need to get out here and, and, and also power wash my, uh, my patio. So I did that. So there. But anyway, guys, so this area here, patio po uh, power washed, was top dressed. If you guys haven't seen that, again, check the videos in the card. And then out here by the rocks, this area about 20 feet away from the rocks, this area here was also top dressed. And again, you can't really make out that it was done. You know, if you look at that, that's pretty much fully grown in. This area right in here where the tree used to be, um, I focus on that, so that spot. But I want to give you guys a good angle so you can see that, hey, you know, he's not showing it from far away, he's trying to hide anything. You can see for the most part, if I hadn't told you that this area had been received top dressing, you really wouldn't know it. Let me also show you guys um, another spot uh, that I've also did some top dressing on. And again, this was about two weeks later, the same time when I did Vanity Strip uh, 2.0. Um, there's some areas over here by the rocks that I did some spot top dressing on. You can see here, there's this little spot right here. I put some, uh, some top dressing and that's growing in pretty nicely. Again, that used to be about, about a foot around. You can see it's almost fully closed in. And then over here, again, this was top dress, uh, like a, a light top dressing. Again, you guys are seeing how quickly this is, this is growing in. And then finally, right down in here, you can still make out um, some spots where the sand is still, hasn't fully grown in yet, but it's getting there. And then finally, right there so you guys can see so full disclosure you know there's a a few areas that i i've um applied some some sand mix to um you know two weeks prior to the main top dressing but overall guys the lawn is coming back really really nicely and again to rem a big reminder like this is a worst case scenario like you're talking you're looking at a lawn that yes it's been babied and it's, and it's fairly healthy but i've got two pgrs running on this two plant growth regulators but tnex and tide Paclo 2sc have been applied to this turf um post top dressing and it's still recovered really nicely so if you need to you know if you need someone to be the bad guy i got you you know you can say you know if you need to have that conversation with your significant other say hon you know I really want a top dress and you know it's not gonna look that bad that long as a matter of fact look at this guy's lawn. look at ron's lawn he put he did it all wrong he like top dressed and he put this stuff on the lawn that stops it from growing and it still came back really nicely see i let me be the bad guy just show show your wife show your significant other this video and you know this is going to help you guys sell that 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 top dress because you really want to do it guys i mean nothing nothing will help your lawn give that get that pool table that golf course lawn look like a good solid top dress well, guys, that's what I wanted to share. I wanted to give you guys that month-long update. I've been, I've been really just chomping at the bit to get to this one. I was really, I'm really excited that the lawn came back. So honestly, I was a little bit nervous by, by applying the, the, the PGR to the lawn that it would come back properly. But it looks like it's worked out really well, you know. Um, so again, if you guys found this content useful, please consider subscribing. You know, uh, again, the Alex's uh, series that we're doing on uh, fixing his lawn is going to be really interesting. If you're not yet subscribed, just even for that, it's worth checking out just so you can see what it takes to transform a lawn that is representative of like what most of you guys have into a golf course lawn like what you see behind you so it's going to be a really fun series if we're going to show everything that's been done like we're not i'm not going to apply anything else to that lawn that you guys are not going to see so every product that's put down that lawn you're going to you're going to hear about it so i'm not in the full disclosure if it goes well you're going to see that if it doesn't go well you're going to see that too i'm not going to um you know we're not going to to not show anything uh regardless of results so i want you guys to see what it what it takes i'm pretty confident it's going to go well the lawn's already coming in really nicely so definitely subscribe if you want to check that kind of stuff out 
Um, if you guys are um, are top dressing, I'd like to hear from you guys. For you, for, you, for those of you that are um, are taking the plunge this year, this is your first year. We're really considering doing a, t a good top dress to your lawn. Let me know about that. Let me know what your concerns are, and if you've already done it, how your lawn is recovering. Again, what you're looking at is one month later uh, following a top dressing to my turf. So I'd like to know how your projects are going as well too. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy this content, again, be sure to share it with your friends, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, all the stuff that helps support the channel and supports me and helps me to produce great content for you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.